Alright, thank you for choosing my French press video. Now, first off, you're going to need some coffee beans for maximum flavor. You're going to need your French press, of course, and you're going to need some filtered water. Now, the reason that I give you this measurement, this ratio, is because it's a strong cup of coffee, and if it's too strong for you, you can always add a little bit of water in the end and make your own measurements, but that is a good preliminary measurement. All right, so let's get to it. Step one, boil your water and grind up your coffee beans. All right, make sure your water is filtered. That's very important. All right, now that your water is, of course, getting to a boil, it's going to be good to uh, add your coffee grounds to the bottom of your French press. So just pour it in there. All right, there's our boiling water. All right, so now we have the beans, the grounds, I mean the ground up beans, of course, um, in the bottom with the water poured through. And now we'll take the, uh, the handle, make sure that you keep the, uh, the handle and the press itself parallel with the sides and with the bottom of the container. This is so that none of the coffee grounds underneath will seep up and get into the top part because the top part is what you will be drinking. And the goal is to keep all of the coffee grounds out. So some will escape if you allow it to be anything other than parallel. So usually for the French press, it's good to do this at least three times. Some people say two and go slow. Some people will say to let it sit and let the coffee soak up in the water without being pressed. Um, just let it sit in there and brew for a little while. Um, that's always an option. You can do it however you like. Um, but this video is just to be informative to show you how to use the French press. It's very paramount to your success in this endeavor that you go slowly. This is another thing to keep the grounds from escaping. Go slowly, and this is, can actually be quite a relaxing activity in preparing your own French pressed uh, delicious cup of coffee. So, as you are finishing up, you'll notice that it's very, very strong compared to a lot of brewed coffee, unless you add a lot to the brewer. Um, you can do this for as long as you'd like, or as short as you'd like, depending on how strong and how robust you'd like your coffee to be. And of course, uh, after using this simple method, we are ready to pour and enjoy our coffee, black or with toppings, however we'd like to drink it. So uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this um, short, to the point, informative video. If you didn't already know how to use the French press, then I hope you've learned something from it. Enjoy.